Nob Bruntley returns to his good friend, Salus Gravius. Well, yesterday, obviously, I wanted to start the, uh, the, the Fire Moth plugin, and unfortunately, it didn't work. But thanks to some clever person in the comments section, I have added the topic of Fire Moth. And in theory, I haven't tested this yet, so it still might not work. Uh, in theory, he should now speak to us about the plugin. Somebody also suggested where the Imperial Steel Curus and talk to him, because we're part of the Legion, so we're technically out of uniform. That didn't affect it either, unfortunately. So let's see if now... Ah! The Imperial Fort offshore to the west was captured, captured years ago by the undead horde of Grun? Grun? Okay. Um, who literally marched out of the ocean and overran the garrison there. The survivors were forced to leave behind the ward of Akavir, and I'm looking for someone to lead a group to retrieve it. Are you up for it? I can. Caius Cossides, you have found your man in the form of Nob Bruntley. Show me the way. Excellent. Head out of the dock. Your me- Oh, so out of the way we came in tomorrow. Okay, fine. Talk to the boat captain about the trip to Fire Moth. May the divines go with you and with our blessings. Thank you. What I'm going to do then- because we are going to be probably picking up a shitload of loot. I'll leave the Steel Curus on the table and we'll come pick that up when we come back. Because I believe we have to come back to see Celis Gravis anyway about the end of the quest. Hello. Do you remember me? Uh, it's not... Okay, it's not this one then. Uh, it turns out I was I was very incorrect. We'll leave the armor there still though because we do have to come back to him. Um, is there another... What is that? Uh, you know what? I've heard that noise before. I still don't know what it is. Is there another dock at Seda Neen? No. <laughs> it's just they wouldn't let us through. Okay, fair enough. Oh, what did he say talk to the guard about Fire Moth? Sorry, I thought he said talk to the boat captain. What and he actually did. Whatever. Here we are anyway. Um, there's a naked Argonian. I'm almost certain that's a naked Argonian as well. Uh, are you ready to sail to Fort Fire Moth? No, I want to... You aren't actually wearing any clothes, are you? That's a, that's a sight. Tilmdar. Yes, I'm ready to travel to Fort Fire Moth. Ah, now before I continue... No, 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 we're not ready quite yet. Uh, somebody said that apparently the, the damage that you do with a weapon is, is directly proportional to its condition. So if our weapon's condition hits, I mean, less than halfway, we'll do 50% damage. So we need to be very, very careful about how we... How we repair, and it probably wouldn't hurt... Oh my god. Probably wouldn't hurt having a repair hammer on us permanently. Just one, to ensure that we're keeping our damage quite high. We've got Mara. Mara the Bosma. We've got Anaril. I follow you. I hope you know what you're doing. And we've got Hrondir, the Nord. Let's go, team. Uh, where are we heading to, by the way? I guess we'll go around... I guess we'll go around this way, right? Let's go and have a look. Is this going to be like a big fuck-off boss fight? This is going to be quite cool, then. The fact that they've given us three companions doesn't inspire me with much confidence. I seem like this is going to be actually quite difficult. Whoa! I thought that was waves. That's an army of skeletons coming towards us. Fight me, skeletons. Fight me and my companions. I feel like we didn't really need companions in hindsight, you know? Wow, this is a proper... How is this way more impressive than the Skyrim attack on Whiterun? Because this is way more impressive than the attack on Whiterun. Look at this. We've got a, we got a proper war going down here, team. I'll get in there. Paralyze the skeletons. And, and our friends can deal with uh, any stragglers that we don't quite kill in one hit. Wow, I'm actually quite impressed. Okay. Holy shit, there's loads of them. Okay, okay. Let's be... Well, there is fucking loads of them as well. I very much doubt they'll do much damage to us at this stage, to be honest. <laughs> this is crazy. I wonder how PCs were able to hold something like this. Whoa! How they were able to deal with something like this back in the day. Because I, I don't remember ever playing this uh, when, I, when I first played Morrowind. Ow, you shit. Oh, my God, that hurt. Talk about friendly fire. Are you guys actually going to... So, I just wanted to see if these guys were any use there. I might have to go and turn down the game because it's very, very loud in my ears. Ow, we're also getting absolutely peppered. All right, I can hear myself think again now. Hopefully, that's uh, not too quiet for you guys, but that was way, way, way too loud for me. My God. Okay. Well, that was cool. There was a hell of a lot. Oh, my God. Look at how many are over on that island. This is genuinely very impressive. I know it doesn't seem like much, but again, bearing in mind... Skyrim and Oblivion, if you were fighting more than three things at once, the whole thing would lock up. And we've got, like, Skeleton Army versus our little versus our little squad here. And this was a side quest, too. This was just a random little side quest. Very impressive. Okay, let's get in there. Let's get in there. We've got underwater Skeleton. Well, I mean, we have, we have just such an advantage here, don't we? 
<laughs> In hindsight, we didn't really need the boat now that I think about it. Because not only could we have just jumped from Sadanine. That fucking wizard is going to kill us. Not only could we have just jumped from Sadanine, but we could have just walked. Okay. No, no, no. Half heal, half heal, half heal. Please fucking change your... the controls. They, they, they pain me. Right. You guys are going to have to protect me here while I fail to cast a spell repeatedly. Fuck off. Bloody Altma. I swear to God, this is a conspiracy. He's here for the, whatever it was, the Ward of Akavir for himself. Ow. You should rest and meditate on what you've learned, by the way. We haven't leveled up in quite a while. To be fair, we did get like six or seven levels the other day, didn't we, from, uh, from doing the training. Right, okay. Please, please, please. Ow. Okay. Ooh. Here we are. There's so many. <laughs> this is cool. This is genuinely a really, really cool quest. I'm, I'm blown away. Kind of reminds me a little bit of that, um, that Demon Souls level with the, with the wheelie skeletons. I don't remember which one it is now. It's a very similar feel to it, anyway. The spooky, spooky crumbling fortress filled with fucking skeletons absolutely everywhere. Okay. What's about in there is plenty of treasure in this place, huh? Let's go and explore the guard towers. Imperial shields. We've got crates filled. It's just all going to be, what, like, old Legion gear, I guess? Let's go and have a look around, see if there's any Legion skeletons or something like that. Okay, nothing this way. You can stay there, you shitty damn wizard. Right, we've got more crap in here. I don't want to miss anything unique, because I very much doubt we'll be coming back here anytime soon. Um, you've got a corpse there with some bone meal. Well, we've trapped them all in the guard tower. You know, that's probably for the best. You guys wait there for a while, because you are just genuinely going to get me killed. Oh, those archers firing at us. Wow. Okay, okay, careful, 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 careful. Okay, let's be a bit more careful then. Um, half heal. We can do one more. Bollocks. I wasn't. I, I didn't really want to stand around and wait for the uh, wait for the magicka to heal up. We could just run backwards for a little while and fuck. We could just run backwards for a little while and regenerate. I guess. Right. Let's be let's be very careful. Just keep moving. Never stop. Who was was one of those still alive? I think we got caught on something there. Oh, it must have been their death animation. I see. Just two more, and then we can hopefully rest. If we just back off across the bridge, maybe back to one of the guard towers as well. There we go. Wow. What a siege, huh? Oh, there's another one coming down. Yeah, okay. Seeing us, unfortunately. Let's get rid of you as well. It's rare that they do this much kind of combat heavy stuff, isn't it? Insane. Okay. Can't remember, still enemies nearby. Fuck. Oh, there's another one trundling down. Fuck off. Please, brother, I need to rest. My health and my magic. I don't think we've been this bodied ever in the, in the history of the game. Like This has been a, a genuine challenge. Right, let's come all the way back here. There we are. Okay. You've set it to level 24. Three times speed? Oh, really? I guess that's from doing so much jumping everywhere now that we've got the... Uh, now that we've got the fall damage prevention. It's, it's basically letting us jump everywhere with no penalty. So we've been able to do it more frequently. And as a result, we've trained more acrobatics. Obviously, we'll go strength. Get that up to 100. Um, you go willpower. And I think we'll probably go endurance as well. Probably wouldn't hurt. Okay. I like the pleasant music that's starting there. <laughs> like the music that comes from Balmora. That's so good. How goes it? Right, let's go have a look around. I have a feeling they've probably hidden a load of... A load of shit on this island. Bear in mind they hide shit all over the place anyway. Which is interesting in what they've... What they've put around here. Uh, No obvious... No obvious hiding place that seems to have treasure in it. My god. And we came from all the way over there, right? So we could have come this way, but we'd have... Uh, I don't think our companions would have done too well trying to get through the river. Okay. Well, I guess this is the sea rather than the river. A few more skeletons to deal with out here. I'm, I will admit, a little bit apprehensive about this boss fight. If his minions are doing us in, then the boss fight itself might be quite tricky. You never know. The, um, the actual weapon, uh, the paralyzed effect from our weapon will be able to lock down single target, I think. Let's go and rest as well. Let's get our fatigue back up. Fire Moth Keep. Oh, that's pleasant, isn't it? That's really cool. You walk in and just immediately greeted with an impaled skeleton. That's a cool idea. Um, what have you got on you then, my friend? Just bone meal. Let's take this slow. Oh, God, there's a lot of skeletons in here. Fucking hell. Okay. Careful. Right. Okay. Should we go left first? Skeletons, unsurprisingly. Just got to watch behind us. Yeah, I thought I heard a guy. Right. Okay. So we can go down from here. We've got the bags. Just random legion crap, I assume. Can't imagine skeletons have much call for fancy loot, right? 
Just a random dude. Whoa, he's strong. Just a random dude hiding around in an alcove here. What are they? What are they? You got equipped anyway. Steel sabers. Yeah, I, I figured it wouldn't be anything impressive. It wouldn't be like I have any odd day trick here. I think we could probably go ahead and turn the game back up a little bit now. Um, I did turn the difficulty up too. I put it up to 15. Somebody said to, uh, turn it up to like a decent, like like a little bit over the bar, but not too high. Otherwise, it will be, it'll be like a little bit overwhelming. So I mean, it won't be overwhelming. More that the enemies will take like 50 hits to uh, to kill them. Plymouth Great Hall. Oh, this has got to be. It's got to be the boss fight, right? Look at these fucking skeletons. Wow. Okay. Be careful. Thank God we've got this Daedric Crescent, huh? <laughs> this thing's so good. It's so good. It's not quite as good as our Daedric Daikatana in terms of actual raw damage. But like I said, for the for the boss fight, you can just recharge weapons by dropping a soul gem on them, right? I hope so. Um, I'm sure we must have a filled soul gem. Or we could just soul trap somebody and, and use that as a recharge. We've got Dwarven Spectre. What can I do with that? Uh, how do I... Can I use soul gems during battle? Okay, fair enough. We'll try and recharge it in a second. I really have no idea how this works. Right, okay. Let's try it. Uh, recharge enchanted item, Daedric Crescent. Is that all? Yikes. It didn't recharge it by very much. I mean, to be fair, though, it was only a, a Dwarven Spectre. Turns out I was thinking of a, a unique Dwarven Spectre that has... Um, that has, like, a really powerful soul. Right. Guard quarters. Obviously didn't do a very fucking good job, did they? Okay, where are we looking? God, they are just everywhere. <laughs> Every room has another dozen skeletons. Right, they were were they looking for something? Is that kind of the implication here? I mean, it just says that a necromancer came and attacked the fortress, but... We've got here, steel darts, restore agility is not too bad, I guess. Um, we've got some gold there, too. Okay, let's go into room the second. I still think there's got to be something unique here, besides just the item you've actually come to... Collect for the quest. We've got Dire Flame Arrows. Wow, those are cool. They don't do very much, but... It's a shame Archer in Morrowind wasn't a bit... Wasn't a bit more impactful, you know? The, the problem with Morrowind and... Uh, or with Archer in Morrowind was, was what I talked about before, where it's like arrows don't really have any physics to it. So if it doesn't really feel like you're doing much. You just kind of point, and then some damage appears over an enemy if you're lucky. Even if, it doesn't matter if you shoot them in the head or whatever. You know, there's no critical hits or... Ah, uh, dungeon. Okay. Open sesame. Right. Let's go. You know what? I will rest. Oh, wow. This is dark. This is really dark for me. I, I'm sorry if this is a bit dark in the video, but again, this is quite clearly dark by design. Oh, God. Diseased rats? Holy shit. Um, get out of here. Wow. <laughs> this is insane. Holy shit. Could you imagine coming here at a low level? You'd just be, you would just be destroyed. It's quite cool, but it is a little bit crazy, isn't it? My god. Okay. Are we done? It's fucking Dark Souls 2 boss all over again. Was it the Royal Rat Authority? The Royal Rat Vanguard, one of them? Okay. Um, got down in the dungeon then. Again, I apologize if this is dark, but I think it's dark by, by design, really. I don't think they want you to be able to see anything. Bear in mind, I can barely see anything. Level 50. What is in here that's so special? Uh, some bricks. Hidden door to find off mine. Oh, okay. Cool. That was worth opening up then. What level 50? There's something else down there. Is the enemy going to be all the way at the, like, the deepest, darkest part of the... Of the castle? Okay, we got more plates with skeletons. Can't believe you guys died. You had a whole plate to eat. Cell door in here as well. My god, I cannot see what the hell is going on. Long bladed Chris to 94. That's a lot of rats. Right, let's get out of here because I can't see a damn thing. This might be the rare occasion where you guys watching the video can see more than me actually playing the game. And, oh god, it's still quite dark. Um, Again, I think it's by design, so we'll just embrace it, really. What have we got? Oh, it's an ebony mine. Oh, it actually is. Wow, okay. So somebody said that we can take the ebony to... There's got to be something up there, huh? Somebody said we could take the ebony to... Um... Mournhold, and the guy can craft armor for us out of it. Four raw ebony. Oh, wow. Is that heavy? Not really. We might as well take it all, huh? Fuck it. Give. Three, three, four. Okay, gotta be careful. We've got a lot of raw ebony out. We've got 16. Wow. Okay, cool. I imagine there's probably a little bit more up there as well. We've got a little bit of raw ebony. Oh, actually, in the car. Fuck, I can't even see that. Wow. Um, I'll have to watch the video back and see if I got it all out of the cart then, because I can't for the life of me see what's in there. 
Okay. Let's say upper caverns. But we're quite clearly going down. Okay, fair enough. Maybe don't mind in the caverns. What do I know? I hope we can get some more ebony then. I want to, I want to start stop on that. To be honest, I wanted to go to Mournhold today. Um, oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, it's a gold mine. Are we, we're over encumbered. <gasps> Shit. Uh, six raw ebony. Oh my god, I thought I only had it four at a time. My bad. Um, well, we could store the ebony on this corpse. Then we know where it is. That's will not fit. Shit. Can I divide up a stack? Can we just take like a few ebony? Yes. Give me those. Uh, hang on. Give me, give me those. Drop them on the floor. Let's put some in this guy. It won't fit still. Oh no. What if we just put like nine in this guy? There we are. There we are, there we are, there we are. And then we'll just kind of slowly add more and more. Because corpses keep a permanent inventory, don't they? So we can just come and pick this stuff back up before we before we leave. Or we could put a recall here and then come and grab it later on. Oh my god, there's so much of it. Okay, I want to make sure we've got enough of this fancy ebony armor that we can... Even even if it's worse than our Daedric stuff. Would just be fun to have as a kind of a collector's thing. There we are. And let's see if we can put maybe like one or two more. Nothing. All right. Grab these ones. We're still over encumbered for fuck's sake. I'm glad I left behind that Curus in hindsight. Otherwise, we would have some some real issues, huh? Oh my god, there's loads more here. This is mad. I wonder if they added this specifically because people complain that there wasn't like enough ebony mines in the game or something like that. There's just there's just fucking boatloads of it. This is madness. Okay, so, so much for that being a rare thing. Um, let's grab a couple more then. How are we looking? Okay, I think, I think I've got all of it. Oh, I think there's a chunk back there. There we go, okay. So both, all three corpses in here have 11 ebony on them each. And then, bone my skeleton corpses we shouldn't store it on because those will despawn. But any of the skeletons that were the people, I assume, that died, those guys are fine. The lower caverns with even more of it? Oh, for fuck's sake, come on. Brilliant. You know, I think we might just drop a recall here and come and get all this stuff later on. What do you think? It's probably not a bad idea. And then if we could put a recall to the house as well. And just kind of teleport back and forth between the two. Okay, there's a lot of boys coming down here. Take it solid. Do you think there's something hidden behind that waterfall back there? I mean, it's really well designed. Don't get me wrong. This is a very nice design. And I'd, I'd argue this is probably... I'd say that there was, a, there was a, an Oblivion-style analog to this quest, wasn't there? Uh, in the same style of it being a, an official plugin as well. Um, they released a battle for... Oh, it's Battle Battle Horn or something like that. Battle Horn Castle. Oh my god, there's so much of it. It was called something like Battlehorn Castle. Um, ah, here's your boss fight then. Right. Give me a second. Let's do it. And it was very similar concept. That there was a castle overtaken by... Um, it was an enemy faction, I believe, more than... I, I don't remember if it was undead or it was just like... Uh, bandits had overtaken it or something like that. Get in there. Wow, this guy's strong. Okay. Oh my god, he's very strong. And our weapon's not degraded or anything, right? Uh, no, it is not. Okay. We've got to not let him hit us. Because bear in mind, our ultimate friend was using... She's not having enough charge. I'm well aware. We could go back out and charge it back up, but... I quite like this. You know, we've actually got a fairly challenging boss for once. Just got to be careful about dodging those magic balls. Do you think we've got any spells that could help us out here? You can't, like, heal undead and accidentally kill them or something like that. Okay, let's see. What have we got here? Have we got anything that can... Uh, demoralize creature? What if we calm it? <laughs> can we calm creature? Calm humanoid. Oh, that's a shame. That would have been quite funny. Um, I, I very much doubt it counts as a humanoid, right? We can just go paralysis spell. See if that will even work. You might just resist it. Target resisted magic. Yeah, I thought that might be the case. Okay. Let's just get get to hacking. Whoa! <laughs> wow. Um, he can he can do us in in like two hits. Okay. I mean, I don't want to coward out now. No, no, no. Treat this as a proper boss fight. I, that's the only problem with Morrowind. We could just leave the room, heal up, and come back with full health. And it's like, it just feels a bit scummy, doesn't it? Really. I want to fight this guy as as a difficult enemy because he it, he seems like he deserves it being at the end of this crazy treasure filled maze with all sorts of enemies and shit. But also, we could just leave the room and heal up, <laughs> and it just feels a bit dissonant. It feels so strange. 
I suppose, to, to be fair, that's the one thing Oblivion in Skyrim didn't let you do. Right. Okay, let's just keep... That's it. Got some good hits in there. We can stagger him if we hit well enough. Longblade and Krista, 95. Yikes. Okay, careful. Do you think he'd have run out of Magicka by now? Feeling might be... He might have God Mode turned on or something. God, he's so fucking powerful. This is insane. Okay, okay. Where's he gone? There he is. Right, we're about... Oh, he's healing back up. Shit. I watched his health just tick up then a little bit. We may have to... Oh my god, he got us. Most recent save is auto save. Now, where the fuck do you think that is? Okay. Okay, we did lose a little bit of progress there, but nothing really to worry about. Oh, this is outside of the t the tomb entrance. Okay, we know we have to heal up. This guy, this guy's tough as nails. In fact, I'm going to heal even longer than that to get our weapon a little bit of extra charge. There we are, 250. Uh, let's go ahead and rest a little bit longer. How much are we looking at now? 250, there we go. Okay, so let's deal with the skeletons first. And then when the skeletons are dealt with, we'll probably leave, heal back up. And then come back in and fight him when we've got a bit more paralyzed on our weapon. How's it looking? It's just got 115 still. But I think he'll just resist it anyway, won't he? Oh, God. He won't resist it. Okay. Interesting. We are still doing very, very little damage. Wow, that is madness. Okay. Okay, let's take another break. Now, I think when we come back in, he's just going to be healed up, isn't he? Oh, no, he actually doesn't get any heals. Very strange. Okay, so we could actually just go in and out and in and out. I don't really want to do that. I feel like it's not in the spirit of things. Okay. We've used up our paralyzed. We're just going to say we'll have to fight him to the death from now. Long blade increase to 95 again. Just wailing on his head with his Daedric Crescent, and he's like not even flinching. Okay. He's got about an eighth of his health left. Careful, careful, careful. Okay. Watch out for that. We're fine. Everything's good. I noticed something on the table behind him. What is that? Like a glass shield? Oh, it's a scroll. It's got some sort of fancy scroll over there on the table. Oh, watch out. Fuck. Oh! Okay, careful, careful, careful. No, don't you fucking dare. A fight to the death. For Nob Bruntley. And his lich friend. Fuck. Well, that was interesting. Um, Gron, the Ward of Akavir. There it is. Oh, look at that. Whoa, fortifies luck, 25 points, constant. And we could just equip that, couldn't we? Problem is, your boy hasn't got enough room. <laughs> um, fire petals. Got a lot of fire petals everywhere. We've got scrolls of invisibility. Wow. Um, wow. I think what we should do is... I think we mark here, right? I think we'll put down a mark, and then we'll recall back to... No, we won't. We'll answer the intervention. That will probably take us back to Balmora. Right, it's got to be closer than the Vex Temple. It's, it's very It's very close. And then we'll just drop all the shit on the floor outside the temple. That way we can just mark, teleport back to the temple, mark, teleport back to the temple. Hopefully. So let's go ahead and do exactly that. That way we can grab all the ebony as well. Hopefully. Um, let's go Amsivi Intervention. It's going to drop us at Balmora. Okay, that's good. That's good. Drop the 32 raw ebony just on the floor. There we are. That's, that's freed us up quite nicely with regards to our inventory. And then recall. And we'll take your ward of Akavir. So... Uh, what's his name? Celis Gravis wants that, doesn't he? And he's willing to pay us for it? I would rather just not. I would rather just keep that, if that's okay. Uh, because, I mean, that's insane. I mean, I doubt we'd be able to put a... An enchantment that that's, that, that's that good on a piece of gear, right? There's some enchanted weaponry here, but, uh, nothing really worth... Nothing really worth doing anything with. Okay. Um... Wow. Cool. So I guess our next thing to do then is to firstly rest. Um, secondly, we'll go and get all of our raw ebony. Um, so there's some there. There's quite a lot in this room, isn't there? What have we got? We've got some here. Is there any in this cart? 
Uh, I hope there's no more, because I sure as fuck can't see it. There we go. Okay. Um, how are we looking on? Okay, so we can carry a bit more beyond that. So I'll just quickly go through and, and gather up all the raw ebony that we that we passed up. Thanks to our encumbrance. There was like some back in a, in a room when we first came in as well. Uh, is there anything underwater? Ah, oh, there almost certainly is. Look. Okay, well, we'll have a look underwater as well. See what we can find. Um, I think our levitate is probably best for this one, right? Let's take a look. We got more ebony again. We can still move. Okay, we're fine. How are we looking? 25. Okay. Let's see what's underwater. So, Mara? Uh, no, no, no. Shirt. Where's our, where's our shirt? There it is. Get rid of that. It's a door to Fire Moth region. Oh! Oh, interesting. It's a way to bypass the whole fortress. Oh, that's weird. That's very strange. Um, like, I get it. And that's certainly better than Skyrim's pull a lever and this ancient machinery takes you right back to the front door. Uh, but it feels a little bit weird. <laughs> that Imperial Fort would just have a back door entrance like that, huh? Anyway. Five. Oh, fuck. Yikes. I should have bought some alcohol. I should have bought some alcohol. We, we, we'd have been able to, uh, we'd have been able to carry a lot more. Okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and mark here next, then. The last couple of things I want to check. I picked it all up. We've got 27 more there. The last thing I want to check is, firstly, what's up there? Um, and secondly, where was that door in the prison? Where did, where did they both go to? And to be honest, they're probably both up to here, aren't they? Um, some, some real dark areas over here, so I apologize again if this is right. So that goes back to the prison cell, correct? Yeah, thought it might. Okay. Um, and then we've got another... Oh! Hello? Violet Capronius. Okay. Thank you for finding me. These mushrooms have kept me alive. Leave the way and I'll help any way I can. Oh. Oh, interesting. That's kind of kind of cool, to be fair. Um, I was going to teleport out, Mr. Khajiit, but I suppose we've got to collect our other companions too, haven't we? Oh, we actually did fucking leak that. You madman. <laughs> I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting that. Now, to be fair, we also haven't cleared out the whole of the temple either, or the, the whole of the castle. We only went downstairs. And I assume... I assume there are more enemies nearby. Apparently we're allowed to rest, but... Let's go have a look. Um, let's open up local map. So what have we got there? Is that another door into the dungeon? Uh, so we've got two doors into the dungeon. Oh, the guard quarters in this situation. Um, both of these, I assume, came from the same part of the castle. Yeah, see, there are still enemies in here. Which I'll clear out as my duty as an Imperial Legion. Okay... And this takes us back to... So this is the way we came in, right? With the Impaled Man. Got it. So we didn't actually go up here. And again, I feel like there's got to be more loot than just... You know, the quest item. I feel like they've got to have thrown something else out of way, surely. We've got a full set of Imperial Armor there. Curious Helmet. We've got a load of dead corpses. Another corpse there, too. Just kind of barricaded themselves in. Obviously didn't work. Um, oops. I definitely don't want that. What is that? Found a dungeon key. Oh, maybe to get to the secret mine. I see. Maybe that was your bonus treasure then. Just more more ebony and a free Khajiit. <laughs> Great. Uh, yeah, I, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it for this floor as well. And then, yeah, we've cleared it all out. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know where the Khajiit has ended up. Well, never mind. He can find his way out. We've cleared it all out. We've cleared it all out. What I wanted to do is come back and get our companions from up here as well. Because there might be a bonus for maybe keeping them alive. I'd like to hope so. Right, is this all of them? Uh, we seem to have lost the Bosma. Is she up here? Uh, I think the Bosma might just be dead. Um, come on. Danny, come. It's one of the boots of blinding speed, I guess. Any sort of... Fuck. Oh no, she's still alive. There we go. We got everyone. Right, team. Uh, we're actually done. So, I don't know if we want to seem worse to lead on. G goodbye. I mean, what do we do now? We're just kind of leaving here, huh? <laughs> um, return with the water back of it. I mean, we've got it. We've done everything. So I guess we just go back to the back to the boat, and then maybe they'll come with us. Maybe they're not intended on surviving. Maybe maybe then maybe they're supposed to die during the quest. Maybe that was some epic ending to the boss fights. They die and they get resurrected by the lich or some nonsense like that. And I, by telling them to stay in that tower, fuck things up a little bit. I don't know. Seems fine. There also seems to be an ancestral tomb over there. That's quite cool. We're going to have a look at that. Um, where's the boat that drops off? It's all the way... Oh, there it is. See the sails. 
You know what? Oh, come on. You wouldn't. There we go. Oh, right. Of course, we're not actually going to jump very far. You could just walk right across the center now and think about it. What do you bet as well that there's something right in the middle of this, uh, of this little archipelago? I guess it's more of an atoll, isn't it? I bet there's something right in the center at the bottom there. I might go look up other things, because we're not ever going to come back here, but anyone, it was a single self-contained quest. I might go and look up, make sure we haven't missed any of the essential treasures. Um, so yes. I'm naked Argonian. That's really just perturbing. That really is. Hmm. But it turns out, besides the ward and the ebony, there's absolutely nothing else there. So I've come back to Sedanine. I mean, I wanted to grab the Curus, but I mean, we can just... Uh, to return the shield to Celis Gravis. Now, I've taken a save very quickly, just in case. When we speak to Celis Gravis, he just grabs it from us. Uh, Ward of Akavir. Yeah, he fucking does as well. You bitch. Oh, okay. Um, reload. Thank you. <laughs> never found it. No idea what you're talking about. Never, never saw a Ward of Akavir in my life. The island was lost. Overrun. Positively overrun by skeletons and monsters. There was no way anybody could have grabbed that. Immortal demigod mob got Nob Bruntley or otherwise. Right, let's leave. <laughs> let's get out of there. I want to uh, quickly intervention back to the temple and get our ebony stash, which should be right there. We've got 31 and 32, which we can't carry so unless we get ourselves a shitload of alcohol, I guess. Um, let's go and get a shitload of alcohol. Is there a bar nearby? Uh, yeah, I know where we can go for alcohol. That should do it. And then just take a few of those. Thank you very much. You know what? I'll buy a couple more. Because I don't really know where we're going to store it quite yet. Again, I would love to try and take it to Mournhold. But I don't really know how we get to Mournhold. Um, a boat from the place by Vivek does it, right? Uh, from, from Ebonheart, perhaps? Even that... <laughs> Even that over covers us. Wow. Um... Nob Bruntley chugs 14 pints of, of of grief, or whatever it's called, and can carry 90 raw ebony. What a man. Right, let me go look up how we get to Mournhold, and we'll go ahead and take the, uh, take the armor over there. This actually ties in very, very nicely to a quest that we've already got as well, and that's, of course, being attacked by the Dark Brotherhood. So we need to take... Uh, can we take a boat to Ebonheart, or am I going to have to fucking jump all the way there? Travel to Ebonheart. Yes, fine. Thank you. Oh, God. Uh, we have a slight issue here, friends. That's the last time we can carry stuff. So here we have to speak to an Imperial Guardsman about the Dark Brotherhood attacks. And again, we've had this quest for fucking ages. So this is something that I should have followed up on a while ago. The second we were attacked by the first lot of Dark Brotherhood. Um, looking for a, a, an Imperial Guard. He should stand out because he's wearing uh, Adamantite or Adamantite or Adamantium or whatever they have, they have to call it in this game, armor. Um, can we also, sorry, can we have a conversation about maybe unifying what we call adamantium or adamantite or adamantite? Because I've played three different games where all of those are acceptable. Uh, and it's, it's kind of driving me a little bit mad. I don't know where the fuck this dude is. Um, but somewhere is a... There he is. Right, okay. Dark Brotherhood. Perhaps you have been attacked. That's bad business. I don't know who it is that wants you dead, and I don't know. Okay, the Dark Brotherhood activity here on Vardenfell has been almost unheard of. I know they have a large contingent back of the mainland. Mournhold itself. Speak with Asin Rain about transport to Mournhold. Where is she? She's a major who arrived in Vardenfell at the same time I did. Special appointment to Duke Dren himself. Nice one, powerful mage. Found her in the Grand Council Chambers here in Ebonheart. Time is of the essence when, at any second, this ebony is going to start weighing us down. Grand Council Chambers are back over there, weren't they? Fuck. You've got my ear. Let's hear it. How can you hear it if I've got your ear, my friend? Pickpocketing skill increased. Fuck! Look after this. It's very valuable. <laughs> Drops two tons of raw, <laughs> raw ebony on the floor. Kadoof! Right, okay. <laughs> Let's put a recall there, actually, before I forget where the fuck I've where left it. Okay. Where is your uniform? Shut up. In my, in my pocket. Wait, oh no, it is actually still on the desk in Stellas Gravis' office now that I'm thinking about it. Right. M -m 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 mark and... Right, look after that. <laughs> it suddenly disappears. We get 75 left. We took about there's only 75. Right, uh, you look like a mage. I will listen. Relan Hlalu. Gallus Drenim. Uh, Rusia Conesian. Fucking hell. Uh, hello, I'm looking for a. Ah! A scene oh, rain. Uh, I do too. I live in <laughs> England. Okay, um, let's get out of here. I need to go to Mournhold. 
Uh, transport to Mournhold. You used to go to Mournhold, that's highly irregular. I'm sure they've heard that there's restricted travel to Mournhold. You're worried about the blight. What's the reason you want to go there? I've been fear up him up by the Dark Brotherhood. Oh my, I can see why you'd want to get that cleared up. And here we are. Oh god, that's the one thing I remember about Tribunal more than anything else. City of magic. It's the guards. Because those were on the splash screens. They're on the box art as well. They were... They were everywhere. I love that it's got its own unique aesthetics. Well, like this, this kind of coppery aesthetic Justice to the whole thing. It's very cool, isn't it? Right, okay. Mournhold, my friends. The true capital. Vivek is impressive and whatever else. But this is the, it's the real capital of Morrowind. Uh, Royal Palace Courtyard. I mean, it looks just... You can see how far the game came in just a... In, in the... I think it was only a few months between the main game and the actual DLC. But this this was always more impressive than Vivek, I think. And this is what I always remember when I think how unimpressive, it, to some extent, the Imperial City was. When you compare it to this, we've got high Justice ordinators. Never sleep. They're, the, they're the ones with the best armor in the game, right? Um, it's their scimitars, actually, that has the, the best enchantments or something like that, isn't it? My god, this place is so impressive. Uh, God's Reach. So we've got like another big district here. I don't know wh who we have to speak to about the uh, the armor. Um, Craftsman Hall. That's got to be it, right? Uh, let's put our, put our magic away. Right. Hello. Uh, I've nothing to offer the likes of you. I don't belong here. That's right. I'm too good for this place. Slaving over a hot forge is a job left to the plebes. I mean, look at old balls over there with his torn and sweat and saliva stained shirt. Certainly more night, my naive friends. I'm destined to become an adventurer. You mock me, plebe. I aspire to heights greater than you've ever dreamed of. Next time you come around, you won't find me must here. You. you must be the man. This is so tiresome. <laughs> uh, your services. I'm a smith. I can make and sell armor. Ca yeah, can you, though? Custom armor. I make ebony and glass armor, but my specialty is adamantium armor. There's adamantium on the rock beneath Mournhold, and our family of adamantium crafts for many generations. Ebony armor. You supply the raw ebony and pay for my work, and I'll provide you with custom ebony armor. Yeah. Okay, no, let's take a look at this price list then. The one you want. Uh, custom armor price list. And the very best is custom armor by Bowles in Darlin. Handcrafted glass, adamantium, and ebony armors. Custom fitted to your frame. Materials and price list. Holy shit, it's expensive, huh? Fucking hell. Um, I don't even think adamantium is an upgrade from Daedric, is it? The ebony is fucking phenomenal. Wow. I almost want to do it just because it's kind of a cool thing to do, is it not? Um, sorry, something wrong in here. You trying to suggest something? I've just come out of an old, dirty, dusty fort. There's no wonder I smell. Please. <laughs> just incredibly rude people. Um, how was I going to do this then? So we'll put a, we'll put a recall here because this is the final end of the chain. So, uh, sorry, we want to mark here. And then we want to go ahead and get that lady to teleport us back to the mainland. Sorry, to Vardenfell. Mainland for us, I guess. Um, what does the world map look like? Oh, it shows you still being an Ebonheart. Ah, oh, good. Okay. Because obviously Mournhold is like pretty pretty central in Morrowind. And we want to go back to... I don't remember which building I came out of now. I'm pretty sure it was this one, right? And we were upstairs and then... Uh, somewhere... Justice. Justice never sleeps. Uh, Imperial cult services. This could be it. Uh, hello. I need teleporting. Hello. Ah, you. I need to go back to. No, no, no. So I need to go back to the. I need to go back to Vardenfell. <laughs> I don't. I don't remember how I got here. You know what? Don't worry about it. We'll worry about it tomorrow. This is quite big, the fact that we're in Mournhold. So why don't we why don't we take a whole episode just to explore rather than making ebony armor? Maybe I'll take a look at see whether or not adamantium is worth crafting. And we'll see if that's something we might want to pursue as well. 